Welcome back. Uh, this video is to discuss um, task number two, um, our assignment two here for the project management class. And I want to go over a little bit of this with you because there are some um, uh, Excel functions here that I think that, that are going to help you move things along, but it may not be as easy for you to figure out the way that it's uh, um, written on the, uh, the sheet. So what you'll see is for task two, um, it comes in and it says the very first thing you're going to do now is you're going to add, you're going to take your Excel file that you started with in task one and add a resources tab. So let's see if we can bring that up for you. In the resources tab, or rather in this, go ahead and add a, uh, you know, you click on this button, add a new sheet, label it resources by left clicking on it, naming it. And then you're going to type in the uh, rates for all of your people. So all of your information here goes in that's provided to you in the, the, um, the PDF. And then put your name here. Don't put your name. I mean, like, put Jerry Birch. Put whatever your real name is um, in this uh, area. And then once you've put all of the information in here, I need you to create this now as a table. And if you go in, left click, drag, and highlight, left click over here in the name box, when you left click right now, yours doesn't say rates in it. It probably has a, another um, thing. I've already labeled mine. But left click in this block, type in rates, and hit enter. Okay? So that takes you, once again, that gets you set up. It gets all of your people's rates uh, into this sheet, and then you label it as rates. Once you have done that, then you're going to come back into the um, back over to the information. Again, it shows you how to do all this stuff. Now it's time for you to make your time assignments. From the time assignments, you will go in and you will enter two new columns, assigned resource one, assigned resource two on the timesheet. You have to determine who's gonna be the assigned resource one, probably gonna be you for most everything right now. So you can list your name here. Um, I do recommend that whatever you put your name in as here is exactly what you put it in back up here because we're gonna use a VLOOKUP function to take the information from this table and populate over here in just a second. So again, assigned resources, make sure your name matches what you put into the resource table. And then there are places that you're gonna have more than one resource, such as whenever you're developing a budget, you need to have the CFO there, communication plan, CIO there. So you're gonna add these extra names in as you run through this. Here are the people on your team, their names, <clears throat> so that what you're going to end up with on your Excel spreadsheet finally is you're going to have all of the names of assigned resource one and assigned resource two. Again, this shouldn't be your name. It should physically be what, you know, what your parents named you. All right. So again, we should be caught up. Everything should be tracking for you. Now, it's time for you to calculate the costs for each task. We're going to do that with a VLOOKUP function, okay? We're going to start off here with a resource one rate, resource two rate added to your spreadsheet. Resource one rate, resource two rate. What I'm going to do here on the very first task, develop agenda and a schedule, if I left click on it and I type in equals VLOOKUP, on the formula bar, it says, you know, what do you want to look up? Well, I want to look up the person that's assigned in resource one, which is cell D3. I want to look it up in the table or array table uh, that's listed as rates. In rates, I want it to return the second column, and I'll show you that in a minute. And if there's not an exact match, I want you to say false. Again, what it says is, in that function, it is saying, go to our rates table, look up the first person's name, 
return the second column whenever you find them. Okay, so let's go back over here. It's saying do a VLOOKUP of D3, this, and the table rates, return the second column, and if there's a problem, list it as, you know, a, a, an error. You can extend these um, formulas by, once you get it in there, you see this darked out um, uh, bottom corner. If you left click and drag, it will put all of the formulas in there, except for where you don't have any information, right? See this blank? It returns a, a hashtag NA saying this, I don't have a match for this. So you can get rid of that formula there. Similarly, if you want to extend that right over here to resource rate two, I can left click and drag it over. Well, now there's a problem here because I don't have anybody assigned to a uh, resource rate here, a uh, resource rate two in this task. So get rid of that. Only extend it across for those where you have a second person. All right, last thing we're gonna do is we're gonna total up, oh, last thing we're gonna do on this sheet we're going to total up the column for a total cost. And what I'm going to do now is I want to take the total number of hours required and I want to multiply this times the total hourly rate that we have going on. So that hourly rate is anybody that's in resource rate one, anybody that's in resource rate two. Let me display an equation for you. It says Take the number of hours, cell C3, multiply it times both F3 and G3. Okay, hit enter. Once you get these, the formula in there, you can left click, drag it down through there. Again, add everything up. I only want the cost though for the subtasks. See, I don't have anything for early planning yet this is a sum of all of this stuff. So I'm just doing tasks 237 and then the subtasks here that start at 9 and going through 23. Last thing I want you to do, go to the cost tab, put in headers, item, and initial estimate, labor cost, and now it's time to sum up everything that is in the um, uh, labor. If you type in equals sum, I'm just going to go ahead and remove this. If you type in equals sum, left click on the time tab, left click on all of your information, and then hit enter, it will put in the entire formula for you. Okay, that's all you need to do for this task. It gives you everything finished up. You now have an initial estimate of $21,160 just for the labor associated with setting this up. Okay, good luck when you're finished. Save your Excel file and then uh, upload it into Canvas. Good luck.